Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entrepreneur TV Middle East. We're kicking off our Jitex morning here at the E and Stand. And with me is a very special guest who greeted me, and that is Ahmed Gupta. He's the Vice President of Data and AI at E and Enterprise. What a pleasure meeting you, Ahmed. Thank you it's so much. Pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you for this opportunity. How's everything? Busy days here at Jitex? Super, super busy. I mean, yesterday was crazy where we had loads of people coming in. We right. had a lot of uh, you know clients yesterday and uh, it was fun kind of talking to them, taking them through our solutions, etc. It was right. really good. Yeah. Amazing. You know, I'm actually really excited to be having this conversation with you because AI, if last year was a buzzword, this year it's actually an extremely deep, I think, word and term that we all need to have in our companies, whether it's a startup, whether we're in big tech. And it's extremely important to, think, to be having these conversations with experts like you. So to kick it off, if you can tell me actual, practical, real life uses of AI and what you guys do at EN Enterprise. So there's a lot that we are doing, you know. So I lead the data and AI practice and uh, over the last few months we have been implementing hundreds of solutions across different clients in Asia, Middle East, Africa and Europe. And uh, today, this week, we are launching something new. It's our agentic AI platform and what it does is provides autonomous agents to handle everything from procurement to finance to manufacturing. Anything, you can create your own agents in minutes, you know, that's amazing. So that was something that wasn't possible earlier. And and at the same time, we believe in governance and responsible AI. So you can measure the performance of the agent, you can handle the entire agent life cycle. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing. It's an amazing product and uh, you know got very good response in the last two days. Right. The second thing that we are launching is uh, a blockchain for digital bank guarantees. You know, it's a product which helps banks and beneficiaries kind of use digital bank guarantees instead of using the physical ones. So kind of increases efficiency, productivity for both the banks as well as for people who mm -hmm. are applying for those. Guarantees. Amazing. And how, in your opinion, can we keep that innovation going but at the same time still stay secure and keep everything under control? Sure. I think this is a very critical question and we at in, in Enterprise are completely focused on this aspect which is governance. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, here you can see we are also showcasing our suite of governance products, you know, which is uh, governance for AI, governance for data and uh, you know even ai powered pmo reliability as a service so, so this is full of uh, you know our products for governance this is key for ai you know without governance you cannot do ai and we at en enterprise believe in responsible ai we have the one of the most comprehensive frameworks for responsible ai and that's what we implement when we start building any ai solution right uh, and some of the components that we focus on is accountability transparency fairness mm -hmm. uh, privacy and safety. You know, these are some of the factors. Super important. Yes. Tell me, is there some sort of real world example where you've actually made a true impact on your clients? I think one of the key examples is uh, showcased right here. Uh, we are working with statistical agency Abu Dhabi where we are actually helping them with uh, sentiments across one million points of interest. You know, so whether it's tourism, entertainment, or any other thing. So the government wants to know how people are interacting, how people are perceiving that. Right. And we have AI models and sentiment analysis tools kind of telling that to you in real time. Mm -hmm. so, Amazing. Yeah. So I think you guys honestly have one of the coolest booths here, if not the coolest booth at Jitex. Um, I feel like we're in a, in a party at the moment. It's, it's, it's crazy. What would you like people to feel, you know, when they leave your booth? What would you like them to, to kind of keep as a memory? So this is an annual showcase for us and every year we are trying to you know, see what's going to happen in the future. So if you want to know what's going to happen in the future, please come to the EN stand. Amazing, amazing. One more question for you. I have some trivia cards. You have to pick one and uh, basically go for the answer. And read out the question once you have okay, the card. Okay, I'll take this. Yeah. Okay, my question is, will AI take more jobs than it creates? Super important one. Tell yeah, us, I mean, what do you think? Everybody has been asking me this question and uh, <laughs> you know there's no right answer for this but in my view uh, AI will actually create more jobs uh, going forward than actually take away. So okay. for example, we are building the agent tech AI platform right now and I know agents will replace a few repetitive tasks and few humans who are doing those repetitive tasks but there's so many new tasks that are being created. You, right. know, you got to build agents for every workflow, every task, and that requires more people, more people trained on AI. And therefore, I feel, you know, AI is not going to replace jobs. AI is just going to create more 
better jobs for all of us today. Yes, and at the end of the day, I think it's super important to actually educate the people and invest in that research and development and make sure that everybody knows that these are the next steps and we're well trained for those next steps instead of just being scared and leaving your job uh, out of fear, right? Yeah. But um, I did hear that you guys have your academy. If you can yeah. talk a little bit about that before we finish the oh, interview. absolutely. You know, something close to my heart. Uh, so we have the EN Enterprise AI Academy where we are training young talent, professionals, executives, leaders, and all of them, mind you, require AI training you know, in order to adopt AI, in order to skill themselves, reskill themselves. This year, we launched our flagship program called the Chief AI Officer Program. Program, and we have the who's who attending that program. We had uh, Her Excellency from EHS, we had His Excellency from Ministry of Education, we had CEOs of different banks, mm -hmm. we had people from research agencies participating in this program, and it was very well received. Our second cohort is starting in the first week of November, so I welcome all, all leaders who want to kind of start adopting AI within their organizations, changing the culture, driving AI, you know, come and participate in this. Amazing, yeah. amazing. And we would love to cover it as well. I think this is such a cool concept. As I said, education is the main thing, I think. Um, it's Thank such you. a pleasure speaking to you today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck. And uh, if you guys want to know the latest tips about AI and what Ian is doing, make sure you watch this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.